Hello, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Come on in. Let's you and I work on this Taurus reading together. Taurus. Thank you. Taurus. I'm using a double deck. All this great energy. Taurus, amazing. Amazing energy. Please do subscribe, okay, so that I can more easily connect with your energy. Please do. I appreciate you. Here we go. Thank you. Taurus, come through. Taking that leap of faith. You've got to know it. When? Soon. Charioteer. Cancerian energy. Why? Because I've seen life in a different perspective. The hanged man. Looking at life in a new perspective. I've been working. Diligently working, working on the details, Eight of Pentacles, in the middle of your reading. The knight in shining armor bringing that cup of love to you, Taurus. Yes, and the Page of Swords. Someone is keeping an eye on you. Someone has been watching, praying for you, looking out for you, sending you unconditional love. Time for that community celebration. Three of Cups. Tower in reverse. Mm. Getting things out of the way. Those things that are no longer seen as useful, as um, instrumental in this connection. Those things that are extraneous, perhaps even bogging down the energy of this connection as if the charioteer reckon oh I've, I've got a flat tire i've got a broken wheel he spoke i have a broken wheel i now have to fix that that way i can get going because my <laughs> you are my my hopes wishes and dreams star energy of aquarian Star, you are my star. You are my shining star. Okay, we're going to need some clarifications, please. I'm already hearing messages for you, Taurus. I'm already hearing messages for you. I need to tell you what you mean to me. Okay. Taurus, clarification, please come through. Who is taking this leap of faith? Ah, your soulmate. Your soulmate is taking this leap of faith. It is time. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. We have the fixed signs of Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. And if I tell you that they are proud of you, <clears throat> that you know, part of whether they're watching out for you, they, they have a... Um, how do you say? I don't want to say obsession. It, it's it's, but they wake up in the morning thinking of you. They go about their daily business thinking of you, and they go to sleep praying for you. You are always on their mind. They can't wait to show you off. This energy is being increased by the chariot. I can't see an energy. We're going to go. I know someone feels like they have been left in the lurch. Nine of Wands energy. Have you forgotten me? I'm waiting here. Have you? No, they have not forgotten you. They're changing that tire. Um, they have also been in the Nine of Swords. Worrying energy, except you see that it's in reverse. They're making a plan. Um, the plan to get to you it's a plan of action 
it's an active plan to get to you. The Knight of Cups. You see, the Knight of Cups, very responsible. You can count on them. Very effective at what they do. However, they are not galloping. They are really um, kind of sashaying towards you. Another card, please. This, <laughs> this <laughs> awakening, this awakening has been brought to you by an aha moment. This occurred when they were in the hangman position. Just making sure. I just need to make sure. It's taken a lot of patience. It sure has, hasn't it? Especially with this nine of wands, wounded warrior pose. But to be clear, here we are again. Six of cups. Past life I'm not even going to say relationships. This connection is to beloved. It's past life loves. And when I'm talking about the love, it's at this, with my whole heart, I love you. I, I feel them all, like their, their hands and arms are going through time trying to reach to you, Taurus. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. So this is pre-Empress Energy. Also an extremely attractive person. Yeah, this... It's funny, for someone who has um, challenges with words, some things they do not have challenges with. I, I'm going to share some messages from them for you. Having to do with how beautiful they find your eyes, your face, your hair... Um, things about you that drive them crazy. Um, something about your... Okay, this is very specific. Someone is um, remembering fingernails and kind of lightly scratching um, the skin. And it, it, it's one of their favorite memories. Um, if not from this life, from past life. I'm not saying this person is a workaholic, but they are diligent. They have this um, nobility. They have this um, drive. They have this drive to do well. Um, yeah. And we're talking about the upper echelon. This, this connection is nothing but top drawer. So they're not going to um, drive up to your home in a hoopty. Um, bless their heart if they do, but even in their mind, even if it is a hoopty, in their mind, it's, it's a Benz. It's a Mercedes Benz. Talking about they have hope, wishes, and dreams of success, too. Um, this person, your connection, the person you're thinking of, Taurus, uh, has not had the benefit of a lot of support. They have so many dreams, but if they only had had a mentor when they needed it. Um, and in fact, many people in their life, their family, friends, kind of denigrated their ideas of doing anything. I hear someone saying to your person, small potatoes stay small potatoes. In a very um, dismissive fashion, like uh, someone told your person, oh, this hurts. Someone told your person, you'll never be anything much. You'll probably just end up in jail like your father or your family. So it's very, um, it hurts. It hurts. These are generalized readings. I'm just hearing the, the echoes of the voices of the energy here. This is communication. Eight of Wands, communication. Yeah, we have to be very careful how we speak to, especially to little people, because it can frame and form a lot of their ideas of who they are as people, um, their quality of life, who they think they are as um, in, in a noble manner. Your person, though, has... Oh, I, I am picking up an energy of someone who's very creative with words, Maybe someone who creates rap songs or poetry or um, is like a, a writer of sorts. It's, it's, it's interesting, though. 
the one person who they should speak to is you, and that's where they get tongue-tied. But they do see you as the lovers. They do see you as the lovers. Your soulmate recognizes and knows for a fact they're going to take that leap of faith. They're just getting themselves in order. Knight of Cups. I, uh, <laughs> and what is in that cup? The cup of love that has been created by the divine, by universe. And I will tell you what the universe has put together. Nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to tear apart. It's going to be a time of celebration. <laughs> it's like when the two of you get together, it's like the whole kingdom is going to party. Uh, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Increase, increase of celebration, increase of peace. Uh, it's as, as if it, uh, a jigsaw, the final piece has been found, and that's you. Waiting their whole time for you, and no one else will do. And they've been keeping a look, and I, <laughs> I keep an eye on you, and my heart is... <laughs> Yeah, when I tell you this person has a crush on you, it's it's big time. Uh, this person has been going to either the school of life or an actual school getting, um, like a traditional school getting their degree. Um, I see someone becoming an, a, a helper agent. Yeah, this energy whoever I'm tapping into, um, they've been through a lot, but uh, it's, it's as if people naturally see them as um, a great advisor, someone who to, you know, who they should look up to, who they can look up to, a lot of nobility and fairness. An equal amount of attention and affection to all. This is not easy to find, especially um, as especially I want to say it like this: from someone who started out um, behind the eight ball, behind um, just without that good support that they they should have had. At the very least, your family and friends should look out for you. I really don't think that they had the support of everyone that they should have. So we'll go forward. So what is this celebration about? <laughs> because you two. <laughs> the celebration is you you guys finally found each other. And let me tell you, the, co the connection between you two is going to be a blessing to many people. Uh, the, the happy family. Blessing protection here, like a shield protecting from any kind of calamity. And like I said, the connection is going to be a blessing to many people. The sun is going to finally come out. I really, I feel like uh, you are the missing piece. In, in the big scene, in the grand scale of things, this puzzle is going to be solved. The tower event is blessed. It is moving away those things that are not necessary. It's also getting people out of the way who are not helpful in this connection. People who would denigrate, gossip, put other people's names in their mouth when they don't need to. Negative energies, they're going to be kind of tossed out of the way. They're just not going to be welcomed. And this will allow your soulmate to come through. When I tell you that this connection is, is protected, right? You have the fixed signs of Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. And these signs are going to, like the tetramorph, protect that opening as your soulmate comes through. It's worth waiting for. We do have that great anticipation. <laughs> and along with this message, again, for someone who, who is such a wordsmith, for someone who is able to put um, words and move people through their um, eloquition. Eloquition? They're able to move people through the words they use. And yet, when they need to speak to you, it's almost like radio silence. 
Don't ever think, though, you are their star. You are my shining star, my hopes, wishes, and dreams. I do have the inspiration from the universe. Keeps me going. I know that I'm going to be letting down the burden of having to feel a certain way about myself. I'm going to be opening up my heart for you, Taurus. I'm going to learn how to speak with you. This person has gone through a lot of changes because I'm not going to give this up. I'm not going to give up the chance to be with you, to show you off, to be a part of your life. I, okay, son, come right back here. I do have some cards. L.A. Pixie gave um, me these cards to write on, and I have spent some time thinking of Taurus and, and trying to help put words to some of this energy. So I want to share this with you. Taurus, what would you say? First, one by one, please. <laughs> you are so beautiful to me. Here we are with the nine of pentacles. The beautiful woman. You are so beautiful to me. This is the energy I felt during the like beginning of this reading. Someone just thinks of you. What are we missing? Okay. The card at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry. This energy is just overwhelming to me, too. So Ten of Pentacles, luxury, sustainability. It's going to be part of the story in this connection. You will want for nothing. Okay, get on with the... That is a sharp outfit. Okay, that is a sharp outfit. Outfit. I love your eyes. I love your eyes. Yeah, remember in the, in the beginning I was talking about they see your eyes, your fingernails even, your, um, the expression, your hair. Oh no, that's a beautiful manicure. Didn't we just talk about nails? Okay. <laughs> okay. What else do you want to say? <laughs> That's crazy. I like your tattoo. Oh, okay. That's going to be very specific to someone. I like your tattoo. A couple more for you here. I love your hair color. Okay. So this person is very specific with how they see you. Um, they're extremely attracted to you but they love your heart. You look radiant. Okay, this person has a crush on you. That, that's, that goes without saying. Yeah, that, this person has a crush on you. If I, if I grab maybe something from the bottom. You have a great smile. Okay, they are all about you. They are all about you. Taurus, someone has a crush on you, and um, rightly so, because you are a beautiful person. I hope that this helps. Please subscribe so I can more easily connect with your energy. And um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.